A 12-year-old spreading a message of love during this difficult time. Our Erica Tarantel joins us right now to introduce us to a boy from Hingham writing letters to everyone, Erica, from neighbors to frontline workers, huh? You could even get one, Ed. Yes, this middle schooler was inspired by the loss of a family friend to start a card and calendar business. That was a couple years ago. When COVID struck, he came to the realization that a written letter could help boost the spirits of just about anybody. So he started sending them. At a young age, his talent was apparent. He would always bring home, you know, these drawings that I couldn't even imagine doing as an adult. <laughs> yes, 12-year-old Max Bohane found his passion early on. Well, I've loved art my whole life. Two years ago, he found his purpose when a family friend named Diana Coyle died of brain cancer. He had a special bond with her. Uh, they really would talk about art a lot and draw together. She really inspired me to start like making calendars and note cards just like she did and that's like how I started my art business. That business allowed Max to support the American Cancer Society in Coyle's name. Last year when he lost a classmate to cancer, he donated some profits to Boston Children's Hospital and Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Sending his grandparents his cards when coronavirus kept them apart made him realize he could do even more good. I would write letters to my grandparents and they would love like receiving the letters and going out to the mail each morning and opening them and it just made them very happy. He decided to send out notes to others, even strangers, with the hope of making more people happy. First responders, healthcare workers, elderly, and everyone who j would just need a little love in these tough times. In this age of doing everything fast and immediate gratification, the written word has a lot of power and emotion behind it and it's very well received by people on the other end. Some have written back. Thank you so much for your cheerful note. Max has an open offer on his website to send out letters he answers requests. His total already impressive. About 90 um, and counting. And yes, Max is sending these for free, donating the cards. Originally, he was paying all the postage, too. He did tell me, thanks to some generous donors, he's now getting some help with all those stamps. Wow. Find a link on his website on ours, uh, to his website on ours, wcvb.com.